Hello students. Today we are going to learn that how many half lives will be required for 90% completion of first order reaction. So in order to solve this question, we'll take one general equation in which R forms P. Okay. Now let's take the initial amount of R or let's take the initial concentration of R as R0. Okay, so initial amount of R is R0. Now after 90% completion of reaction, after 90% completion of reaction, the remaining amount of concentration R will be equal to 0.1 time of R0. Alright, so we have got the amount of R which will be left after the completion of 90% completion of this reaction. Then we'll use the expression for T time. T is equal to 2.303 log R0 upon R divided by K where R0 is the initial concentration, R is the final one. T we are finding over here, let it be T 90%. So this will be equal to 2.303 log R0 upon 0 0.1 time of R0 divided by K. So R0 and R0 will be gone. That will be equal to 2.303 log 10 upon K. So 2.303 log 10 upon K. Now this log 10 is equal to 1. Okay log n be equal to 1. So, T 90% will get as 2.303 divided by K. Also, for the half-life, we already have an expression for zero order reaction. Sorry, first order reaction. For first order reaction, for first order reaction, T 90% not T 90%, T 50% or T half. T 50% is equal to 0 0.693 upon K. This is the half-life of first order reaction. So we have got two things. We have got T 90% in terms of K and we have also got T 50% in terms of K. Now we have to find out the number of half-lives which will be required for 90% completion of this order reaction. So number of half-life, number of half-life, will be equal to T 90% divided by T 50%. So that would give us 2.303 upon K divided by 0 0.693 upon K, which will be equal to 3.32. That means 3.32 half lives will be needed for 90% completion of a first order reaction. Therefore, 3.32 half-lives will be required for 90% completion of a first order reaction. first order reaction. This will be our 